Hi, uh, welcome back to my channel. So in the previous episode, uh, number one, um, we checked out uh, the potential of the HackRF as a spectrum analyzer. And at the end of uh, the video, I suggested that it was possible to, to verify to, to, uh, the precision of uh, the HackRF as a spectrum analyzer using um, the tracking generator fractionality of uh, this uh, HP spectrum analyzer, the uh, 8591E. So, uh, before going uh, into, into that in some details, uh, I would like to discuss uh, the functionality of the spectrum analyzer. So, in the next video where we will apply this uh, to the HRF, we know what uh, we're doing and everything uh, will be clear. So, uh, at the moment, uh, the spectrum analyzer is, uh, the input is connected to an antenna. And uh, so the spectrum analyzer here is uh, outputting the spectrum from 0 to 1.8 gigahertz. So this is also showing, shown here on, uh, on the computer. So hopefully you can uh, read this uh, without any problems, whereas this is kind of hard to, to see, but still, you can see, you can still see what I push the button uh, that I push here. Uh, here I have uh, a very simple oscilloscope. It's, just, it's a very nice, uh, but very simple oscilloscope, analog oscilloscope. Um, the bandwidth of this is of 20 megahertz. I don't know if it is visible to you here, and th th that will be used uh, later on. So, what is uh, the tracking generator? So, the tracking generator is this port uh, of the spectrum analyzer, and this is an output port. So, this is the input, and this is the output. So, you see, the, the, the way a spectrum analyzer works, and by the way, I will uh, leave in the, in the comments, in, in the description, rather, of this video, a uh, link to a fantastic channel that does a lot of uh, lectures, I would say, about RF uh, for hobbyists uh, on YouTube, and uh, there uh, he explains very, very, very well what a spectrum analyzer is for, for uh, hobbyists, so for people that are not necessarily... Uh, electrical engineers. So anyway, uh, the tracking generator is this output function and uh, what, what does it output? So for this we need to understand how the spectrum analyzer works. So the spectrum analyzer works by sweeping the spectrum. So it starts from uh, zero and uh, at some speed it changes the, the frequency from zero to 1.8 gigahertz and then starts again in an infinite loop. And when the frequency is at a certain point, the, the spectrum analyzer observes the power on only that frequency. Very, very narrow uh, fragment of the spectrum. And then uh, it does this uh, moving on. And then the fact that you have is that uh, of a continuous uh, line here. But in reality, it's constructing slowly uh, with a sweep of the internal, of the internal uh, frequency of this uh, spectrum analyzer. So to observe this behavior, I can change the, the sweep speed, which is now of uh, uh, 36 uh, milliseconds. So this means that uh, this does about uh, how much? Uh, 30 sweeps uh, per second, so it's very fast. I'm going to slow uh, this uh, very, a lot, uh, so let's put it, for example, um, 40 seconds. Uh, 40 seconds, so much, much uh, slower uh, seconds here. And now it's much uh, uh, clearer, you see here, the sweep uh, action. So the spectrum analyzer is sweeping the spectrum at a much slower speed. And so we can see here the, where it is currently observing the spectrum, right? It's advancing slowly. Uh, I mean, uh, does one entire sweep in 40 seconds. So that's the meaning of this thing. Okay, so uh, the tracking generator, it's simply outputting a signal that uh, was frequency is the current frequency observed by, this, uh, by, the, by the spectrum analyzer. So it's basically following my finger. It's outputting a, a frequency where my finger is, right? And then it will start back to ETL. So to observe this, uh, uh, we'll uh, now change uh, the, the center frequency of the, uh, of the spectrum analyzer 
to uh, 10 megahertz so instead of 900 megahertz we just have 10 megahertz and the span is gonna be of just 18 megahertz instead of uh, 1 gigahertz and um, 800 megahertz so now uh, we have a central frequency of 10 megahertz and a span of 18 which means that uh, um, the, center, the, the starting point is 1 megahertz and the end uh, point here is 19 megahertz which is precisely what this oscilloscope uh, can, can look at, right? So this is a 20 megahertz uh, scope. So what I'm going to do now is uh, to connect uh, the output of the spectrum analyzer, so the tracking generator, uh, to uh, channel one of these uh, oscilloscopes, so we can see what's, uh, what's going on. And um, as you can see, uh, we get a wave. Uh, so uh, let me actually um, um, check here. Uh, so, for a second, let's let's turn off the the, the tracking generator, which is uh, simpler. So the tracking generator now is off. Uh, still, the spectrum analyzer is still uh, uh, working just as before, but simply the output is not enabled. Okay. Uh, now we can uh, decide instead to enable and uh, we can do that uh, so the signal that will uh, be the output uh, following uh, my finger so following the intermediate frequency of this uh, spectrum analyzer uh, will have a certain power now the power is set to minus uh, uh, minus uh, here minus uh, uh, 5 dBm so let's put it in fact to minus 10 so a bit uh, lower uh, so we get a weaker signal and uh, the reason is that it will uh, display nicely on uh, on the scope so you can see here that uh, we get a frequency a signal with a certain frequency and the signal is accelerating because the frequency is uh, moving on uh, following my finger here right so this is exactly the the way uh, spectrum uh, uh, sorry a tracking generator works so this can be visualized uh, using a, a oscilloscope Another way to, to, to look at it, which is perhaps even more simple, here I have a, um, a frequency counter. So it's a very nice old uh, um, frequency counter that can measure uh, frequencies up to um, 80 megahertz. So it can definitely follow this signal that is going from 1 to, um, uh, we say, the 19 megahertz. And so I'm going to... Uh, plug the output of the tracking generator um, so wait a second I have to uh, uh, pick the right adapters here because each output so the output of the uh, spectrum analyzer is an SMA port here I mean really it's an end port but I always keep plugged an SMA adapter here so and here it's a BNC so anyway I put uh, uh, the thing here and so in the frequency counter we can easily see the frequency corresponding to the internal frequency intermediate frequency of the spectrum analyzer mounting from 1 to 19 and then going back so we will see this effect uh, here very clearly in a second so we get to 19 and uh, we look back to starting from 1 okay so uh, we'll unplug again the the frequency counter we go back to the scope um, okay so here we are again the scope and so um, we said uh, here that uh, the tracking generator is currently set to output at uh, minus uh, 10 dBm okay so uh, you cannot see properly probably but at the moment the spectrum uh, is the oscilloscope is set to uh, 50 millivolts uh, per division okay so the signal here is occupying exactly so it's going from uh, division number zero exactly one two division up and two division down okay so it has two up and two down so in other words we are doing 100 millivolts up and then uh, minus 100 millivolts and um, 
So if we look at this uh, website, which is very nice, it's a website from uh, uh, Analog Devices, the company. It is a very simple tool to calculate, uh, uh, to translate between DBM and uh, 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 bolts in RMS or bolts in peak to peak, uh, etc. So if we write uh, 10 DBM, which is uh, currently what uh, the tracking generator is outputting, uh, we get exactly 100 millivolt, which is 0 0.1 uh, volt, peak to peak. So which is exactly two division here in the uh, shown in the oscilloscope. So indeed, uh, the tracking generator is outputting uh, the correct uh, the correct uh, uh, signal at uh, the correct uh, let's say power. And if we modify the the tracking generator and uh, ask it uh, to uh, output instead only minus uh, uh, 5 uh, dBm. So, uh, sorry, I made a mistake. So, minus 5 dBm. So, now you see that uh, the signal has uh, become uh, stronger and is occupying 1, 2, 3 uh, division and a bit. So, I would say three division and uh, something. And um, if uh, we go here and we see what minus dBm means in terms of volts, peak to peak, uh, we get uh, 0 0.17 volts or 177 millivolts. Well, and that's precisely or more or less, let's say, three divisions and something, right? So it's 50, 100, 150, and that is our 170. So uh, the nice thing, and that's the point of having a um, tracking generator in uh, your um, uh, spectrum analyzer, is that you can follow the internal frequency uh, of uh, the spectrum analyzer, output it uh, with uh, the tracking generator, but also control its power. Uh, in a rather precise way. Um, another interesting thing is that, uh, you know, um, the sweep, of course, depends on the span. So at the moment, we have a span of 18 megahertz. Um, so let me close here. The browser is not needed anymore. Uh, we have a span set of 18 megahertz, right? So if uh, we reduce the span, uh, of course, uh, uh, the tracking generator will, uh, will have a let's say a shorter uh, period, right? Because it will just, uh, uh, for example, start from uh, five megahertz and then that's uh, 15 or something like that. So uh, so let, let me try this. So if I reduce the span to and uh, set it to 10 uh, megahertz, um, so now we have a center frequency of uh, 10 megahertz, it's written here, and the span of five megahertz. So it means that uh, the sweeping process will start from 7.5 uh, megahertz and then that 12.5 uh, megahertz, okay? So, but what happens if we set a span of zero? So this is a functionality of, uh, of the spectrum analyzer. It's available here. And so I'm going to click it now, uh, zero span. And uh, when zero span is set, the tracking generator will always uh, um, output the frequency at uh, the center frequency. So now the tracking generator is outputting a constant frequency at 10 megahertz at minus, uh, sorry, at minus 5 uh, dBm. So uh, really the tracking generator is a, a very handy thing to have in a spectrum analyzer because it's basically a rather simple but uh, effective uh, signal generator and it goes from uh, uh, in this case from 100 kilohertz to 1.8 uh, gigahertz and so we will use it um, to uh, probe uh, in a sense to test uh, the response of the RF in our next video thank you very much and uh, see you next time